channel so today I'm back with a new video in my travel series today I'm gonna be showing you guys what is in my Disney bag I mentioned this in a different video but I decided to just go ahead and do it because I think it would be really helpful so just kind of showing you guys what I keep in and it doesn't necessarily have to be Disney just kind of like any amusement park like Universal and all that kind of stuff but Disneyland especially because I feel like you know Disney's so expensive like whenever you go to Disney you are literally there the entire day and I feel like there are definitely lots of necessities that I like to have with me when I'm gonna be at an amusement park all day so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I have um, obviously this goes in my travel series so if you guys are new um, welcome to my channel first of all but every Friday I'm doing a video in the summer I'm gonna post a travel related video so I've done like some travel lookbooks some travel makeup some you know travel tips and tricks so today is all about Disney which is like my personal probably favorite part of vacation before we get started make sure to follow me on Instagram because I post lots and lots of stuff on there I'm gonna be going to Disney and um, like California and everything this summer and I'm gonna be posting lots of pictures so make sure you follow me on there one more thing make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you're not already first of all I feel like I have to have my Disney ears on for this video just because it's so fitting I feel like it's not a Disney related video without the ears so I just have these. These are just like the very traditional ones. As you can see, you can buy these in the Disney parks. There's so many different ones now. Like they have rose gold sequin ones and just all these cute different ears. But I don't go enough to have all the different ears. But you know, one day in my dream life scenario when I have a Disney season pass and I live in LA, I will definitely have a bunch of different ears. So this is the bag I usually take to Disney. It's from Target. I also showed this in my What's My Carry On video. Um, unfortunately, I got it from Target last year, but I'm sure there is something similar. I know American Eagle sold a bag almost identical to this. So I will try and link some similar bags in the description, but this one's really nice. Um, it is stuffed, as you can see. It's like a pregnant bag. I particularly like this bag because if it's not completely stuffed full like it is, right now it's pretty stuffed, but if it's not completely stuffed full, it is small enough to fit in the pocket on the back of the ride but in years past I've taken like a big like drawstring kind of Nike bag and it's too big to stick in those pockets I wanted to try and find a bag that was small enough to fit in the pockets but big enough to fit my essentials in so this bag was actually pretty perfect it was a little bit hard to get into the pockets when it was like really full like this but if it wasn't too full it was pretty easy to slip in there it's easy to carry around and it's got some zippers and compartments in it so this is honestly kind of like the perfect bag so starting out I'm gonna show you what's in the side pockets this first side pocket I usually just keep my sunglasses because it's a nice way to just really easily get them in there and out of there you don't have to take anything out so I always keep some sunglasses here this bag actually did not come with the backpack but it matches it like perfectly this is just the um little sunglass case that comes with the key sunglasses i like to keep them in some sort of case so it kind of like protects them from getting scratched or smushed or whatever easy to get to right there oh where did these come from oh my gosh <laughs> i had two in there i don't know how long these have been in there you can apparently fit two sunglasses in there it's deep enough so that's nice and in the other small pocket this is where I like to keep some of my electronic stuff that I'm gonna be reaching for my Mophie so this is just one of those like little charger banks so you can just charge this up and then when your phone dies you just plug your phone into this and it'll keep your phone charged this is probably the number one most important thing I think you could take with you to an amusement park for me like we get to Disney when they open and we stay till they close so we're there for like what 14 hours or something when it is going to die my phone dies super early because I was using my phone to vlog which I won't be this year because I'll be using this vlog camera actually do you guys like the quality of this camera this isn't the camera I usually film with it's my vlog camera but I thought I'd see how I like it it's unrelated so you don't want a dead phone in Disney like I said I just keep it in that front pocket so it's easy to get to along with that you're also going to need a charging cord or else the box is useless so I just have this little Smashbox bag, but inside of that, I just have like a USB cord. Um, I also recommend maybe even bringing like a wall outlet charger box as well, just in case your Mophie dies and you want to charge maybe like while you're eating or something, you could charge your phone or your Mophie like charger box or something like that. So just in case this thing is being finicky and not working, you still can charge up your phone. So that's everything in the front pockets. Like I said, they're actually pretty deep, so I would definitely try and find a backpack that has some sort of front pocket on it, just so you can keep your sunglasses, charger, whatever, something you're going to be reaching for often. Inside of here, like I said, mine is pretty packed. There's one thing in particular that's really taking up all the space, which is kind of like not really necessary. First thing in my bag, which this is probably something that is kind of unnecessary, it just kind of depends if you'll need this or not, but I usually have some sort of jacket in my bag. Obviously, this is kind of the one thing in my bag that's taking up all the space and making my bag pregnant. In California, it does get pretty cool at night especially like even in the parks like I feel like you can just get like a little bit chilly I always get chilly at night so I usually like to keep some kind of sweatshirt on um, of course like if you're planning on buying one in the park you could just do that and then you don't have to carry it around this is literally the one I always take because it's red so it goes with my Disney ears 
but also this is like the perfect kind of style because it's lightweight it's not like a big thick hoodie it's also a crew neck which saves space because a hood it like takes up so much space it is so lightweight and easy to pop in my bag definitely not something you really need as you can see my bag is literally so much smaller and not as packed full without that so I don't know if it's worth it to you for the extra space I also have some hair ties with me. Um, I just have this random like little leather bag, but I just have like some regular hair ties and then some like little elastics. Next up, something I keep with me. I always keep some pain medicine with me because obviously like you are spending a lot to get into Disney. It's supposed to be the best day ever. You don't want to be nauseous, sick, headache, whatever. I personally get chronic migraines. So I like live off of pain medicine. So I always have it with me. I feel like an amusement park especially is a good place to have pain medicine because a lot of people do, you know, get headaches or nauseous from the rides or just even like the heat. So having some pain medicine on you is definitely a really good idea. Next up, something you have to have is your wallet. Next up is, I just have my camera case. I feel like even if you're not a YouTuber, um, a camera case and a camera is definitely something you wanna have in your bag. So obviously you're at Disney and you wanna take some really cute pictures. So now that I have a vlog camera, I'm definitely gonna keep that in my bag. So I just got this nice little camera case so it doesn't get scratched up. I also have just like this handheld tripod. Um, obviously I don't have the camera on it because I'm using the camera to film right now because I'm testing out my vlog camera. I love this one. This is just like the gorilla one, I believe, and it's just like the really, really tiny one, but this one's perfect with my camera on it. I just feel like this is like the perfect size because it's like, you know, just about the size of my hand. Um, really important, especially if you're going to be vlogging while you're there, this will make it a lot easier because you want to just hold your camera. Also makes me feel a little bit more comfortable maybe bringing it on a ride because I feel like I have more control holding onto this than I would just like my camera. Um, next up, and this is also kind of one of those things that's a little bit bulky and kind of optional, but I like to bring my Polaroid camera when I go to Disney. I like to take really cute Polaroid pictures. Um, I also mentioned this in my vacation haul video, I think it was. Um, but I got some really cute Star Wars Polaroid film the last time I went to Disney and then all of my pictures for the day had like this Polaroid. Um, it had like the Star Wars border on the Polaroid picture and it was so cute and I just like took so many cute pictures. So I feel like if you're, you know, into taking pictures and Polaroid camera, like it's definitely something that would be fun to have with you. Next up, and I think this is actually the last thing. Again, one of those things that kind of takes up some space that is kind of not that necessary, but sometimes I'll bring some touch up makeup just because I know it kind of sounds ridiculous because it's an amusement park when you get there at like eight o'clock in the morning and you're there until midnight like your makeup is gonna look terrible maybe just a few basics so sometimes I'll usually just take a setting powder because you're sweating and your face is gonna get greasy and I know I'm not the only person because I was in one of the Disney bathrooms and this girl literally had an entire makeup bag and she was like putting on a full beat in the bathroom and I was just like me the Rimmel Stay Matte is great it's cheap and it really does the trick it really helps my face stay matte or maybe some bronzer because I know for me sometimes it'll just get like a little bit splotchy I like to have some bronzer just like you know bronze up my face fix any patchy parts bronzer is always good to have and then you know just some brushes like a powder brush for your setting powder bronzer brush um, sometimes I'll take like just a concealer foundation a concealer or foundation brush without any like actual products I'm not gonna bring a whole bottle of foundation to Disneyland but if I have my brush that already kind of has some product on it then if I have like oh my foundation's rubbing off on my chin I can just kind of go like this and fix it because I already have kind of like some product left over on the brush the last thing I usually hope we'll have in a little small makeup bag is maybe this kind of might sound ridiculous but some eyelashes and eyelash glue because I like to look my best at Disney you know I'm vlogging and taking pictures and you know obviously I'm extra I wear like fake eyelashes all the time but on the California Screaming Ride or what is now going to be the Incredicoaster I almost lost my lashes like that ride is so fast and if I lost a lash I could not go around the rest of the day without a lash and I'm not going to go back to the hotel to get a lash and I can't rip off the other one because then I look like crazy I know what you're thinking why don't you just not wear lashes but I like to wear lashes. Maybe just taking a set of lashes just in case you lose one on a ride. Maybe definitely some eyelash glue and some tweezers. I know some people watching this will probably think I'm crazy. I know it's an amusement park, but it's Disney. Disney's a little extra bougie than your regular amusement park. What makeup and lashes make me happy and Disney's about being happy. So that is pretty much it um, as far as like what I have in my Disney bag. I hope it was helpful. Um, oh, one other thing I forgot to say. Sunscreen, 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 sunscreen. I couldn't find it because I think my sister is actually at the pool. So sunscreen is definitely something you wanna bring in your bag, especially if you're wearing a tank top, like your shoulders will literally be fried. Some face sunscreen, which I don't have to worry about because I 
wear a full face makeup except for right now I'm actually don't have any foundation on so maybe even like a baseball cap or something if you want to try and keep your face shaded for me I'm wearing my Disney ears all day so I usually don't bring a hat but that is something I think that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you'd like to see some more Disney related videos because I absolutely love Disney like I'm so obsessed with Disney hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll definitely do more videos like this like pertaining to Disney like I said please subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you aren't already make sure to follow me on social media so you can see all my Disney pics this summer and thank you so much for watching bye